So Jeff dragged me out here to come help him, and um, I'm playing with his Mika right now. Hey guys, so welcome to another episode of Car Noob. Uh, today we're working on my interior again because I'm not satisfied with how it is, so I'm changing it for like the fifth time. Nice. Fourth time, fifth, sixth, I don't Yeah. Know. What are we going to be doing? We are, let's see, if I can get this off, taking off my suede. Nice. And the uh, handle's here too. Okay. I can't get mine off. I need it. I can do it. Too tight. Yeah. <laughs> so first thing we had to do was remove all the suede, which left us with all this residue on the pieces. A friend of mine recommended that I use this purple power stuff to dissolve the adhesive, and after using it for like five times, we realized that it wasn't working. So thank God I got the big bottle of Goo Gone. So after we rinsed off all the adhesive and the Goo Gone, we quickly dried off all the pieces and then laid out some newspaper. So this time we're going to be using Auto Dip, which is pretty much sprayable vinyl. And we're going with Miami Teal. So as for technique, I am no expert at all. But doing multiple light coats with maybe like 10 minutes in between seemed to, seemed to work pretty well. So let's go with that. Uh, <laughs> this is what it looked like roughly after four coats. So you might notice that there's some runs here and there in the corners, and there, there's a good explanation for that. And that's because I got impatient and started doing heavier coats with less time in between. So uh, yeah, don't, don't do that. Hey guys, so um, I fucked up one of the handles, so I'm going to demonstrate how to peel off the auto dip here. It feels like gum. Is it really? A little bit, yeah. It's like it's gooey and stretchy. Yeah. It's like gum, guys. <laughs> what if it is? <laughs> After the last coat, I left everything to dry for a couple hours before putting everything back together. Overall, I think this is a great product. Uh, even though it's a bit pricey, about like 30 bucks, it's it's completely worth it in my opinion. I mean, like it looks and feels great, and you don't get that like rubbery feeling that comes with Plasti Dip. If uh, if you want to learn more about their product, I'll leave a link down below in the description. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like and or comment down below. And if you guys could share the video, that actually helps me out a lot as well. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Let's try that again. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I'll uh, leave links down below. And as always, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.